everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so so excited about today's video because if you all watched my video that I uploaded called Change a few weeks ago, you would know that I am trying to upload more videos about my faith on my channel here because I am currently in college. I am going to a Christian school and I have just been growing so much in my faith and I want to share that with all of you, what I'm learning and how I'm growing and everything because I want to be able to inspire you guys and just share what what I'm going through. And so today's video is going to be one of my first kind of faith-based videos and I'm going to be talking about how I started Bible journaling. And if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you would probably know that I recently have taken up the art of Bible journaling. And if you don't even know what that is, don't worry, I'll get into it later in the video. But I've had so, so many requests to do a video like this because I think a lot of you are interested in it. And so I thought that this would be a good video to kind of start this series with. I also quickly want to mention that I actually uploaded a blog post on this same exact topic and I don't think I ever announced in a video that I did get my blog finalized and created and I have a few posts up and so if you want to check it out you can just type in meredithgrace.com and that will take you to the link or I will put a link in the description box below and you can just click on that and go read the blog post if you want to check it out and I just got a text. <laughs> So first I thought I would start off by saying how I got into Bible journaling and one day, this was back in December sometime before Christmas, I was just scrolling through Pinterest and saw this beautiful picture of someone who had drawn on the pages of their Bible like a really beautiful verse and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I'm going to click on this and go read the blog post about it. And the post that I read was about a woman who had started Bible journaling and it was kind of like, and it kind of just listed out all of the different entries she had done and it showed you like different techniques you could do and I just thought this was the coolest thing ever. I even watched like a video tour of her journaling Bible and I just thought it was so so cool and so I texted my mom and I was like oh my goodness can I please have a Bibling journal for Christmas did I just say a Bibling journal yes I did <laughs> so I texted my mom and asked if I could get a journaling Bible for Christmas and I ended up getting one I was so excited about it and she also got me a kit of like some other supplies for it and so I've been loving being able to like get more into it the past couple of weeks and so today I'm going to show you guys how you can get started with it. So I'm basically just going to be reading off these same set steps that I described in the blog post, but if you haven't read that, then this will be new information. So step number one is to pray about it. Decide if this is something that is going to help you. Is this going to be something that's going to, you know, develop and grow your faith even more? Or do you think it's just going to be like something else to add to stress because I know sometimes when you start something you can think like oh my goodness I need to be doing this all the time I haven't done it enough I need to do it more and that shouldn't be the case with this it should just be something that you use to help grow your faith and yeah so decide if it's going to be something good for you to do number two is to buy a journaling Bible now you could obviously use a normal Bible for this but I would definitely recommend a journaling Bible because of a few things. So this is my journaling Bible. I will put the link to the exact one that I have down below. It is all black and I really want to decorate the cover eventually, like to make it fun and decorative. Um, but this is the ESV journaling Bible by Crossway. And the reason why I recommend a journaling Bible is because the pages have margins on the side. If you can see this, I would say it's like a two or two and a half inch margin, which is used specifically for the purpose of journaling. And so that's really helpful. And also they have super thick pages, not thick as in like a normal book thick, because obviously there are a ton of pages in here, but thick enough to where when you write with a marker or a pen, the ink is not going to bleed through the other side of the page, which is super nice because in a normal Bible, the pages are super, super thin. And so that's why I would recommend this kind because it's meant like specifically for this. Step number three is to pick out some art supplies, and this is kind of the fun part. If you are a super artsy person and already have lots of crafting supplies, you're probably going to be fine. But I didn't get like too many new things for this except for what my mom got me, and this is from a website called Illustrated Faith. I will leave it down below. This is kind of like the main like site that I got plugged into when I first heard of Bible journaling. And they have an Etsy site where they sell all sorts of different little supplies they have like stickers and bookmarks and all sorts of different things that are used specifically for bible journaling and so i will put a link to their etsy site down below if you guys want to check that out because it's just easy and quick and it all comes in one package or if you don't want to spend money on that totally fine you can literally just use any kind of pen i get a lot of questions on the kinds of pens that i use and this is what they are they are the micron like pens i'm not exactly sure what they're called but they 
are available like in most craft stores. I think I got mine at Michael's, but you could probably get them at like Paper Source or anything like that too. And I got a pack of three. One of them is 0.5 millimeters, one is 0.3, and one is 0.1. And so different sizes. They also come in different colors, which is really helpful if you want to be colorful. So I just use these and it's really easy to like do a calligraphy style like writing with it um, with these kind of pens because they're super small and easy to write with and they also don't bleed through the pages which is great. Honestly you don't even have to use fancy pens. You can use normal pens, you can use pencils, you can use colored pencils. The next thing I'm going to talk about so I have a bunch of different colored pencils that are just like regular Crayola pencils and they work fine. I also have some of these little markers that I originally bought for um using in my adult coloring book, but I really like these too um, because they're thin and I got these at the paper source. But recently my sweet grandmother went out and bought me some really nice colored pencils. These totally are not necessary because these are like super expensive artistic pencils, but she got these for me and they are like watercolor colored pencils, which I think is awesome. And there are so many colors. Oh my goodness. It's amazing. Can you guys see all those pencils? It's awesome. Or if you use them with water, they kind of work like paint too. Something else you can definitely use are just watercolored paints and I got these at Michael's. I think it was like five dollars um, because I was not about to spend a lot of money on something that I don't even know how to use. I had not used watercolor paint in so long, but I used it in one of my entries and I really liked how it turned out. So. These were really fun. And so basically there are just all sorts of things you can use in your journaling Bible and I think that's what's awesome about it. You can basically do anything. There are no rules. You can just let your artistic creativity flow. All right, so I just talked a really long time about that step, but step number four is to find your verse. And something that I read before I started Bible journaling was that you probably don't want to use your favorite verse ever as your first entry because you're, wanna, you're going to want to practice before that. And so I was reading a devotion at the beginning of the year. I'm still kind of going through it and it starts with Genesis and just works through the whole Bible. And so my first entry was in Genesis. So that's how I did it. But honestly, if you're not using a devotion or anything, you can search for a verse that you like. You can just open up the Bible to a random page and find one that you like. I feel like sometimes that's the best way to do it. Um, but just pick out a verse that you feel like is speaking to you. All right, number five is to let your creativity reign. And I also kind of already talked about this in step number three, but basically there are no rules with this. If you look on the hashtag Bible journaling or illustrated faith or anything like that on Instagram, you will see so many amazing entries and people just have the craziest like ideas and it's just so wonderful like how you can see all of it come to life and so seriously whatever you are feeling you can do it in your journaling bible step number six is to date and tab your entry this is also something that one of the illustrated faith um like website things said and so i definitely like to do that i have just been using sticky notes on the top of mine i only have four entries as of now as you can see but on one side of the sticky note i will write the date and then on the second side i will write whatever the verse is about. So that way, you know, once you have tons of entries, you can look back through them and you can see like how you changed over time and how your entries kind of evolved. And you can see like, if you need to look for a certain verse, you can see it on the little note tab on top, which I think is great. So like I said, I've just been using sticky notes to do that in the past, but my mom recently got me these really cute little tabs, if I can find them. So my mom got me these that are like little page markers, and I think I'm going to start using these too because I think they're really cute, but you can basically use anything to mark the top of your paper. I've just been taping sticky notes in. You can use another piece of paper, whatever. All right, and the last step that I have is to share your creation with others. I know that if it weren't for social media, I would have never found out about Bible journaling, and I think it's such an awesome thing. And so I encourage you, if you take this up and start journal Bibling, I said it again, oh my gosh. I encourage you, if you start Bible journaling, that you should definitely post this on social media. Let your friends and family know, and let other people see about it, because I think it's such an amazing way to express your faith and what you're feeling. And so I think sharing that with others is just so amazing. So like I said before, you can look on the hashtag illustrated faith and the hashtag um, Bible journaling on Instagram. And there are just so many entries. I love looking through them. They're all so beautiful. And so I definitely recommend that you guys do that. I also have some of my entries that I've done on my Instagram and on my Twitter. So if you want to see those, you can check those out too. And before this video ends, I thought I would just share with you guys my four entries that I've done so far because I know a lot of you are probably really curious. So I've only done four. Like I said, I try and do like one a week, but sometimes I don't have time because if you put a lot of time into it, it can take, you know, an hour or two. So I try and do it as often as I can, but as of now, I only have four. So on January 1st, I found this verse that said, 
and God said let there be light Genesis 1 3 so for this I just used the black pens to kind of like write it out I obviously did it in pencil first so just in case I messed up I could erase it and then I went over with colored pencils and did lots of fun colors so next on January 8th I used the verse it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and the earth Genesis 9 13 and this is my favorite verse that I've done so far well I love rainbows and I just love how the watercolor paint turned out on this one. I like sketched it out in pencil first and then I painted it and then I went over it with the black pen to write the verse and I just love how this one turned out. On January 22nd I attempted to do the verse, though your sins are like scarlet they shall be as white as snow, Isaiah 118. And the reason why I did this one was because this was on a snow day and so honestly I'm going to be totally real with you guys. I googled. Bible verses about snow and this is what I found and I thought it applied really well and so I attempted to do some water coloring on this side of the page as you can see and it did not really turn out how I wanted it to so I just switched to the other side and did it again which I think is totally fine um, I try not to be too OCD when I'm doing my entries because normally I'm kind of a perfectionist but you know I think trying again is just fine so that's what I did on this one and on January 18th I did the verse I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus Philippians 3 14 and I just used a bunch of different colors to use this one because I love rainbow things and so I used all the colors of the rainbow so that was it for my Bible entries. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing them. Comment down below if you're into Bible journaling because I would love to hear. If you are, be sure to tweet me pictures of your entries or Instagram me. Tag me on Instagram. I would love to see, seriously, so much. I want to know if you guys are into this like I am. So I really, really hope you all enjoyed this. If you have any other requests for faith-based videos, just be sure to comment those down below and I will try my best to respond and to get to filming those videos for you guys. So that is it for this video. I love you all so, so much and I will talk to you next time. Bye!